All right, at Take 23, the game of disc golf has grown in popularity over the years. Many people even picked up the sport during the pandemic as it provided a way to be active and socialize, but you could still be a distance apart. This week, professional disc golf players are in Utah for the World Championships, and one of the women competing is a Fishers native, our very own Stacy Ronsley. She joins us live from Utah this morning. Stacy, thank you so much. I know it's uh, 623 in the morning out there, so we appreciate you getting up early for us. Yeah, no problem. No um, problem. So first, for anybody who doesn't know, really quickly, just tell us, what is disc golf? So disc golf is basically the same thing as regular golf. Uh, we use Frisbees here, and then we throw them into that basket. And we basically have holes just like uh, regular golf. We have to like shape these discs in their flights to get them around trees or in open fairways to, have to throw them really far. Basically the exact same thing. The person with the least amount of strokes wins. Um, and I know this is a hobby for a lot of people. I assume it probably yeah. started as a hobby for you as well. How did you make the jump from hobby to pro? So basically, um, I played ultimate frisbee for a really long time, tried disc golf, and then um, with COVID, I had time to practice every single day. So I practiced like eight hours a day and got really good really fast. And then a lot of people basically were like, hey, you should go pro. And then I just decided, I mean, I don't really have a secure job anymore because of COVID, so mm -hmm. might as well go for it. I mean, why not? Yeah, why not? I, we're watching some video now um, of the game itself you're in the world yeah. championships now. I mean, did you ever think you would get there? I know these start tomorrow. So how does this competition work? So basically, no, I never thought I'd ever be here because uh, it's just like, who, who does disc golf professionally? You know, it's <laughs> right. kind of an obscure choice, but um, the tournament itself is uh, five rounds on two different courses. Mm -hmm. One of the courses is really open um, and it's on a golf, like a ball golf course. And there's a lot of like bunkers and sand traps and stuff mm -hmm. that you have to avoid. And then the other one is a, a very heavy wooded course where you have to like really be precise with how your disc is going to, where your disc is going to land, how it's going to fly around the trees. And it's a very challenging course. Yeah, there's a lot of precision involved I'm, I'm seeing in yeah. this video. It's really impressive. Um, let's go back mm -hmm. to your uh, path getting to this point. Um, I know we've got pictures of your car. You've got a mini camper. Um, hopefully we can pop those up here. They are. We're showing them now. So this took a lot of your own money. Um, you know, I said, I know you said the pandemic um, basically made you unemployed, but you did save money by waiting tables before that. So what was your journey mm -hmm. like to get to this point? Uh, job wise. So yeah, job wise. Uh, okay, so basically, I was managing pet stores for a really long time, and then um, they all kind of shut down with COVID and everything. And so I just decided to jump over and say, uh, wait tables. And then that's how I've just been affording. I um, like when the open restaurants opened back up after COVID, I just started waiting tables to save up for this. And I moved back in with my parents to make sure that I could afford it because who knows the economic repercussions of mm -hmm. COVID? You know, it was all also new at that time, and. Um, just started saving up and saving up and the car that i have uh, is actually very spacious on the inside so i was able to use that for mostly storage and mm -hmm. then i sleep in that little teardrop camper wow it's and it's um, one huh yeah all right well stacy ronsley you kick off tomorrow best of luck please keep us posted on how you do we'll be rooting from for you from here at home thank you thank you all